Hey, how's it going? What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know? I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay? But I, I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm going to get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry and get yourself set up. I got you. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Where we going? We, uh, heading to the foundry place. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. 
Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking this motherfucker. Sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want them clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He's lining up, camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big chick. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as many motherfuckers as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand to lose. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Look, man. Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. right there, okay? I'm going to go over there. Near the building. Watch your sector. Gee, the dog's got to wait. Alright, I'm looking. 
being a prick! There you are, you dick! What was the problem? I was a little winded, all right? I took the key out. Nice to see you so worked up. Yeah, well, don't do it again. Watch out! Another FIB team on the way! like we did it. Shit, for now? Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noises. <laughs> Hell yo, let me see. There's uh Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. 
You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching! W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G! Wei Chang! Wei Chang! And Franklin's pal, Stretch! Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him! All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. I bet you get so many bitches, don't you? I'm sorry. Why doesn't that sound so offensive when I say it? Shit, you tell me. But seriously, the girls must flock when you're a high roller in the hood. Look, like I said, homie, I think you got me confused with somebody else. He called me homie. So cool. Anyway, where were we? You can ask me about anything. Really, anything. Enjoy, my friend. Got any cabs available? On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. Sounds good. Leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it. Now. He got it. Hey, I got out clean. 
You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after you. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and Agent Haynes. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Yeah, you're looking great. Is it chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Two parts diluted fantasy, one part degenerate reality. Mix! This... Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you... This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Oh my god! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! Requesting backup for a 187 at Del Perro Pier. System reported as FIB agent. Proceed with caution. Suspect is a possible 918 victim. Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. A Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. So who we got, man? Harold Stretch Joseph. Still outstanding. I'm taking care of him.
I'm clear. Your pal, Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Gee, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? I'm picking up Devin Weston so we can have some fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Combat situation! Guard the asset! in the vicinity.
I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally! There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Ah! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah, a uh, fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. Grow you! You don't want me as an enemy. Pipe down! With a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Tea? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> uh, 
Franklin. All right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you. And then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. You the taboo joys of cat. <gasps> so you've done well for yourself. What? what? What are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, Trevor? I didn't know they let you out. So you never wrote to me? You never visited? Well, well I... I bet you never found a girl. 
Tell me, Trevor. Are you gay? No. Is that what this is all about? No. I wouldn't care. In fact, I've always wanted a gay son. A son who wouldn't forget about his mother. But Ma! But Ma, but Ma, but Ma, nothing. Not a peep. I carried you in here. I fed you. I weaned you. Now look at you. You always were an ungrateful, wretched, sniveling sack of shit of a boy. You know it, and I know it. There was always something wrong with you. Ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of me, of your own mother. I've been here for hours. And have you gotten me a drink or a cigarette? Or massage my feet? I'm an old woman. And you, in the prime of life, have you nothing inside? I'm so sorry. I am... <laughs> There, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's it now! Here I am, old and tired and alone. I'm so sorry for everything. Exactly, for everything. I'm an old woman, Trevor. I don't got no insurance. Oh, I got money! I don't want your goddamn money! Is that what you think I am? A prostitute? Still? You're sick. What can I do? I'm in a lot of pain. I need you to get me some more Deludamol. I can do that. A lot of them. A truckload, literally. And not those weedy little ones. The thousand milligram ones. And if you find me a gentleman, well, we both know you need a father figure. Down. Can you give me a ride? I'll pay you. I got money. Sure. Why not? It's about time I balanced out today with a good deed. I'm unbelievably late for a flight. I need to get to the airport fast. Piece of crap rental car of all the days. The average American spends 15% of their income on running a car and almost two hours a day in transit. You'd expect these auto manufacturers could deliver a reliable product. Sorry, I'm a numbers guy, but outward facing. I can work a spreadsheet, but I can also work a room. I run the models, I date the models, you know what I mean? I'll have to take your word for it. So, what flight are you trying to catch? Liberty City. I'm an equity analyst in Algonquin. Tech comms. The big leagues, man. The pressure, it can choke you. But I live for that shit. Name's Tim, with two M's. Because, mmm, mmm, I am hungry. 24-7. What's your name, buddy? Let's try and get there in one piece, okay? Because, mmm, mmm, I am hungry 24-7. What's your name, buddy? Trevor, with three Bs. 
Well, listen, buddy, because you're helping me out, I want to help you out. My back, your back, they both get scratched. Get me to the airport on time, and I'll give you the kind of tip you can really take to the bank. I am hung over. The vendors took us out last night. I had so many tits in my face at one point, I thought it was gonna suffocate. Are you trying to kill us? We dropped 5K on bottle service, so go figure. I know what you're thinking. With everyone, belt tightening is not cool. But you gotta stop mixing up investment and retail. We didn't cause this housing bubble or the last one. I don't even speak to those retail drones. You know, you're a really interesting guy. Good to talk to you. Oh, I... Hey, I'm home in a rush. Oh, I didn't realize I was talking. And this new bubble crisis bubble? It's just hysteria anyway. There's a boatload of money to be made in the downturn if you know what you're doing. And idiots lose paper, whatever the weather. And the storm comes, I make it rain, baby. Anyway, enough of that. Let's... Holy crap, what was that? Anyway, enough of that. Let's just make this flight. Did you not see that? Pay attention to the road, buddy! Let's try and get there in one piece, okay? Are you trying to kill us? Hey! Oh no! I don't... Holy crap! What was that? I think I can still make it. Buddy, I owe you big time. Okay, here's my tip. Buy shares in Tinkle now. You won't regret it.
Yes, Mom! Mom! I got the meds! Mom! Mom! No, Mother! Damn, baby, you sure you don't want to join me? Amigo, re fucking memory, and I'm your goddamn boss.